Hi, and welcome to another Automation with Cognitos. In today's example, we're going to show a common use case revolving extracting information from documents received via email, such as a PO or a bill of lading, invoices or claims, and uploading that information into a system of record. For today's example, we're going to show this output within Cognitos just to make it easy. What we'd be looking at is a situation where you have various documents, say you're a logistics company and you're receiving uh, these bills of lading. And in those documents, you have both structured and unstructured data, as well as some different formats. Cognitos, using best-in-class OCR, is able to extract this information and then upload it into the proper places uh, within your system of record. However, you'll notice that some of these documents are a little bit damaged, which will make it difficult for the OCR to extract that information properly. But with conversational exception handling, we'll quickly see how Cognitos handles this. First, let's go to the appropriate procedure. In this situation, we had a trigger event where emails come in and trigger the automation to run. You'll see here that an automation was triggered about one minute ago, and that's the one we'll focus on today. First, take a quick look at how Cognitos builds automations in English to where anyone can understand it and modify it as needed. Now let's go to this particular run. The Cognitos brain has been working through and continues to work through each of those lines that you saw before step by step to understand what information is needed. But you'll see here on the right that an exception has been thrown. We can see that it actually has an exception here for Kerob, which unfortunately, it was unable to extract that information. This is due to the document ID, which has been blurred out from this damage. So instead, we can handle that exception as a business user, not needing the help of developers. You'll notice there's several different ways we can handle this exception, including just writing it in if it's a one-time event, or if it's something that's going to occur repeatedly teaching a technique, or if it's something that someone else needs to deal with, we can delegate it to someone else, skip a question, or upload a file. But for now, let's just write in the answer. So we're going to write in that document ID number we saw, and we can click always use this answer if it's going to be a repeated uh, exception that we will see. But as this is a one-time event from a damaged document, we will unselect that. We hit submit. And the Cognitos brain, after stopping at that point, continues to move through the process. And we are able to go back and focus on whatever higher level work we are doing. You'll see here on the left, we have records of all of the different runs that have occurred and also different options for sharing or scheduling the automation if we don't want it to be a particular trigger uh, event instead. We'll wait for the brain to continue to process, and then we'll click on show all runs, which will enable us to actually see what occurred. If we click go on outputs, which today is representative of a system of record for the sake of this demo, you'll see that it has extracted various information from each of the different bills of lading, and in the one situation, extracted the number that we needed. Thank you, and for more information, visit Cognitos.com.